So that picture I didn't take, but that picture was a demonstration of um, people facing the sun. Everyone else had kayaks in their photos, so I had to have a kayak in my photo. So now I'm going to take off my kayak, and I'm going to invite people um, to stand up, because you could see in that photo with a bunch of kayakers on a pier that everybody was standing up. If there's any way you could get anywhere near a sun, that would be cool. So what we photos we saw in the sun was everybody reaching up toward the sun. I'm not facing the sun, because then I won't be facing you. But as you're standing, okay, just reach your arms up so that it's easy with your shoulders. And as you bring your arms up, take a breath in. And as you exhale, reach your arms forward and bend your knees and round your back and let your head drop and let your ribs rest on your thighs and let your head drop. And then unroll from the bottom of your spine, stacking up vertebra by vertebra by vertebra until you come back up. Now, if you want to do this seated, you can do this in seated position. So we'll do the same thing if you want to be sitting down. As you inhale, reach your arms up and take them out. Open up the front of your chest, let your palms face forward. And as you exhale, reach the arms forward and round your spine and push all the air out of your body. You bring your nose toward your belly button. Bring your pubic bone toward your nose and then let the body hang. You can let your ribs rest on your thighs if you're sitting or if you're standing up. And inhale and unroll from the base of the spine. And come on up. So once again, if you want to do that standing up, inhale up. And exhale and round the spine and come on down and push all the air out of your body. And inhale and reach up and exhale and reach down and swing it around. Swing it up and swing it down. Inhale, swing it up. Exhale, swing it down. One more time. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, come on back to center. Again, if you prefer to be in a seated position, you can be in a seated position. Actually, if you got a chair, you probably have a chair. So, let yourself be in your chair. So we can do this. Reach the arms up. And I'll show you from the side view. What we're doing here is getting lots of air into the lungs. And we're reaching all around the arms. So we're rounding all the way through the arms. So the palms are facing up and your head's facing up. And then you're going to exhale and round the arms forward and round the spine forward. Inhale and come up, and exhale and roll it down. And inhale up, and then just let the arms hang on down. Okay, so we do um, we do what? Spinal rotation with kayaking. So we can do some spinal rotation. And um, so we're sitting in a kayak. Easier to sit in a chair than sit in a kayak. So reach those arms out to the side and take a breath in, and as you exhale, turn your torso to the right, and sweep your arms to the right, and inhale, and come on back up. And as you exhale, do the same thing to the other side. Squeeze all the air out of your body. Come on back to center. If you want to use your chair and your thigh, right, you can let the arms drop. So this time, we're going to swing the arms around and then bring the hands to the back, bring the left hand to the back of the, I'm sorry, opposite. Bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee and bring your left hand around behind your chair and squeeze all the air out and get that twist spinal rotation. And then as we inhale, come on back to center. And with the next exhalation, Swoop it around, take that left hand on the outside of the right knee and turn your head to the right. Your right arm is behind you, long through the torso, shoulders are dropped. Inhale, come on, back to center. 
So we're spending probably more time sitting than we usually spend and more time doing computers. So you all know my, well, some of you may know my forearm stretch. Let's do something a little bit different. Interlace your fingers and let your elbows come together in front of you. So your elbows are bent to 90 degrees. Now you're just gonna make a twist of your wrists. So take the wrists around in a circle. Don't do this if it hurts. So if you're spending lots of time on your keyboard, change the direction of the twist as you're there. Just moving it through. Get all the muscles and the joints and the ligaments loosened up as you're there. Great. Then your fingers are interlaced. Interlace your fingers in the opposite direction and press the palms away. I can't see what anybody's doing except for Javier. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now drop your shoulders and bring your thumbs towards your belly button and bring your little fingers towards your heart. Oh, keep pressing the palm of your hand away though. So you're getting the whole stretch. So your palms are facing away. There you go. And then drop your shoulders. And if you have bendy, bendy elbows, bend your elbows just a little bit so they don't hyperextend. Good. So this is to stretch out the, the front of the forearms which get really grippy when we're spending lots of time at keyboards. Okay, easy and gentle. Lift the shoulders as you inhale. And as you exhale, draw those shoulder blades down your back and let the hands release and let the palms rest. Let the fingers stretch down by your sides. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side. You don't need to turn to your side because I want you to see what I'm doing sideways in your chair. Right, we're spending too much time sitting. These muscles get real short. So if you have a chair with arms, you have to kind of wiggle your arms in between the arm of the chair to get your hands on the seat of the chair. So get your hands on the seat of the chair, draw your shoulders down, attach those shoulder blades to your torso and lift your heart. You can see I'm lifting my heart to the setting sun over my toes. And pressing the palms down, press your feet down into the earth, keep those arms strong, press the heels of the hands into the chair and lift your pelvis, lift your pubic bone up away from you to stretch through the front of the hips. Take a full breath in and as you exhale, let the pelvis settle down. Once again, take a breath in and as you inhale, lift the pelvis, so all the weights on your arms, gotta keep those arms strong. Exhale, let the pelvis come back, settle down. One more time, inhale, lift the pubic bone. Keep the low back long, squeeze your butt to lift your hips a little bit higher. Exhale, come on down. I'm gonna stay sideways so that you can see what we're gonna do here is just a swing of the torso. So we're gonna swing the arms up, exhale, inhale and exhale. Exhale to the side, inhale to center. And it's smooth and steady. The crown of the head's reaching up and the tailbone's reaching down. This is sort of like kayaking, a little bit freer, a little bit easier, no weight. Come on back to center. If you wanna do that standing up, I know that there's some people in Basque who do some um, Tai Chi. So this is kind of like a little Tai Chi maneuver. Let your knees be a little bit bent. Let your tailbone drop so your low back is long. And then we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna turn, 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 turn. And let your hands slap up against your butt as you turn. Keep the spine nice and long. So the crown of the head's reaching up Everything else is just swinging side to side, breathing in deep, breathing out deep. We gotta keep those lungs optimally functioning so that the little, those little fat-coated proteins don't have a chance. And come on back to center. Great. Okay, one more thing in your chair. So take your feet wide apart and sit tall and bring your torso forward. Let your arms 
hang down, let your head hang down. And unroll from the base of the spine, stacking up the pelvis, stacking up vertebra by vertebra, shoulder blades drop down, collarbones open up. Watch this one time. If you're spending a lot of time at your computer, sometimes you can end up like this. So we wanna let the back of the neck get long. So I'm gonna show you, and then you can go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna do that bending forward. I'm gonna take the knife edge side, the little finger side of my, of my hand, on both my hands at the base of my skull. So my thumbs end up at the bottom of my neck where my neck meets the shoulders. And then I'm gonna let the elbows hang and I'm gonna let the spine hang. And if you're doing this right, you might just salivate on the floor. And just let the head drop. Let the weight of the arms help to stretch out the neck. Let your feet support you so your spine's totally relaxed. Here you can really feel the breath coming deep into the bottom of the ribs, pressing up against your thighs. As you exhale, draw the belly button toward the spine and reach the crown of the head out away from the tailbone. Try to bring your back toward straight. Take your elbows, keeping your fingers interlaced, take your elbows away from your ears. So you're stretching open. Your spine is long. Once again, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, draw the belly button toward the spine and come up with a flat back. So you're nice and tall. Thank you very much. I hope you can breathe a little bit more easily now. You can take that with you anywhere you go.